القوه الا بنه نري العظيم Supposed to start that yes, we'll start the video. He didn't say anything. The hidden host. There's the Zahri host and the Bhati host. May Allah forgive us. In the Amal of Miniat, your actions is according to your intentions. Therefore, Mamana Sheikh said, Allah bless you, Sheikh Nazim. Akami, Allah bless you. Holy soul, raise him higher and higher. And Mamana Sheikh Hashem, raise him higher and higher. Bless you. He said, Make your intentions big. Big. Allah makes your reach to that intention. As much as you make big, it's still nothing in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, for instance, that one meeting like this, Tarakatuna Sahba for Khairu Kijimiya for Zikr and Sahba and Kasida and reading, reciting Holy Quran, mentioning praising prophets, all I said. One meeting like that cancels the bad effects of 40 bad meetings in every direction, 40 bad, 40 bad places, houses. Someone said to me, what, what do you mean by houses? Buildings? Some might say families are houses. Forty families in every direction. And their roots go wide. The, the ancient science, the Islamic science of astronomy includes what they call astrology now. The different stages of the stars are called houses. The planets, the sun, the moon pass through houses. Manza, Manzi, stages, 40, Manze. Might be thousands of years between the time they come around. 40 aeons, 40 epochs. If you may take away the bad doings of 40 aeons in every direction, <laughs> why not? We have, oh, we intended something very big. It's out from imagination. It's nothing in front of Allah. Well, Anna Sheikh was always trying through such things, I'm not skillful like him, to try to wake up our sense of wonder to make our thoughts for heavenly things wider. Shaitan and ego and Ubul Dunya and Shahua Hawa are enemies make everything small and constricted as you should. And if you begin to make it bigger and bigger, it lifts your heart up. Holy Quran says, at least two times, maybe more. You never did a just estimate about Allah. Whatever you thought about Allah's greatness is nothing. There's nothing. We made everything small. We made this arch to be small, like a chair, just like that. We made prophet to me, a uh, person who came in Arabia, he was so tall or like this, his hair was like. We didn't begin to raise the level of our thinking. 
intend big. We're sitting here to take away the bad effects of all shaitan. Why not? We can intend it. We're intending to destroy the kingdom of shaitan and put the kingdom of Hawk up. So it says, how is it you're stupid? Okay, I'm just Better than to sit here like that. Intend as much as you can intend. We're asking our Lord to raise us up, raise us up to new understanding. Oh. Lama Sheikh Nazim Alabesk, he said, I like to read. They also like it, and if you begin to read what people said about subjects, holy subjects, and other kinds of, it's so wide what people were writing and saying and speaking. And they make everything. How many things we never thought of? He used to joke, everybody is jealous of everyone else except for this. They say, mashallah, when brains were passed out, mashallah, I can't believe it. I got the best one and everyone else got nothing. Where is that big brain? Going nowhere. To the table, to the toilet, to the bed, to the table, to the toilet, to the... For what you're using that big brain for? Nothing. Nothing. You didn't begin to look. Those who have the kernels of wisdom, Say in the creation of the heavens and earth. Who's thinking about the creation of the heavens and earth when it was created? Some they say it's created now. Are they created a few years ago and then went away to vacation somewhere? Not anymore. Creator. Creating. And his judgment day. Holy Quran says, Well, how are they all of us? This is the judgment day. What? I don't understand. Of course, you don't understand. You never thought about it. Well, the Quran is not only some lines on the page, those marks on the page signify something behind it. They're symbols. Symbols. Yeah, I know symbols is realities, lights. They are levels and spheres, lights and understandings beyond and beyond and beyond that you never thought of. They say that for Aulia, I'm sure you said that. The Ulama. Are like the people who rejected prophets in the past. They are for them a, a thorn in the side because they balanced everything on the level of mind, and mind is not the scale to weigh heavenly things. There's other attributes waiting to be opened. But no one's asked him to open. He never thought about it. Oh, my sir, why you never asked me to open the lights of your heart? Oh, my Lord, I was busy eating and sleeping and resting. 70 years, 80 years. Time went fast. <laughs> what are you going to answer? We're asking to lift our heads up. He used to say, we're like the sheep in 
Michigan, when I used to live in Michigan, I was assigned to look after the sheep. I was assigned to look after everything. I was the only one there. <laughs> we had sheep and goats and chickens and ducks and geese and horses and the occasional whatever. All of them day and night, head down. If you go out on an errand somewhere, come back at night, the horses head down in the field eating. Raining, head down. Snowing, head down. Sheep, goats, same thing. Only chickens used to take a break. But all of a sudden, I say, no. Chickens will eat each other, given the chance. You buy a box of baby chickens, you have to buy for them a collar, plastic collar, because one will eat the other one if he gets. <laughs> Our heads down eating, and we follow the animal. Animal Hayawan. I'm blaming myself. This is not a lecture saying you guys are all messed up. I'm the good one. No. This is to remind all of us we're sitting together on the Mulana Sheikh's gaze and asking something to think about it, to open the locks of our heart. To open those locks, it's locked, it has to be open. Has to have a key, has to be open. They come suddenly, unexpectedly, something not from ourselves, from outside ourselves. When he wants to open, may open something. Suddenly you never thought of it. In a second, it might be everything changes from your understanding. How many Prophet he was going with Jibreel on the night of Laylat of Isra and Miraj. He's coming, the anniversary is coming next week, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. Next Thursday night, we'll celebrate the Islamic Day Zara. Make that to make it easy to everyone to get something. They were traveling through space and time, through heavenly levels. And at one point, they saw a panorama, you know, panorama, what's a panorama? A view, a whole magnificent view. Space and time finished, and they saw a huge, huge panorama saying that Adam and all his descendants up to the last one spread out. The prophet said to Jibreel, oh Jibreel, he was his guide in Israel. How long since Adam up to the last one? And Jibreel said, but Prophet wants to bring it out. Which Adam you mean? Prophet said, there's more than one. Allahu alam rasul He wants to bring it out. Allah and his Prophet know best. But from the knowledge I was given, this Quran said like that, from what I was given, this Adam, from Adam and Eve, this same Adam, alayhi salam, He's the 124,000th Adam. Each one coming with their zuriat, with their nations, with their calm, with their descendants, going to the end, going to their judgments, and going on in a new one. He said to Mulana, how was the other ones? He said, like them. They were like they were. How many Adams? How many worlds? 
This is the only possible world. We sit here in this world. Is so poor, he has one world that's like this. No other world, no other outcome, no other narrative. I'm reading a book I can't understand about narratives. Someone said, you want to understand the intelligence? I say, yes, get this book, the narrative, understand it. I can't understand one sentence. It's English. Well, I have to send to the professor, what does this book mean? I have no idea. In the way we understand it, the story of time. There was Adam and Noah and Hood and Sully and one and the flood and etc. And some say there was Atlantis. One narrative only. How many narratives? You can count them. Allah ran out of narratives. How many worlds? Oh my Lord, oh creator, how many worlds you created? You can count them if I told you. How many stories? You can understand that. Oh my Lord, a thought came to me today by accident. A thought came into my mind and went, where did that thought go? Dissolved or went someplace? It's continuing to act or it's in fact stopped. They talk about karma, you know karma? What about thoughts? Where they went. They live in a strange world. Allah said to me, the sun, where is it? It's only a short jump to say, where am I? He was gentle with me. Where is the sun? Created without Lama Khan, without a place? We don't know where the sun is. Where are we? Where are you right now? You're sitting in this room on the floor. Okay, where is it? We know from science, everything is moving. It's not the same place as when you came in the door. Moving at unbelievable speeds. The earth is turning, turning around the sun. The sun is going around Milky Way, Milky Way is going. Well, who knows what else is moving? Thousands and trillions of miles an hour, millions, gazillions. I'm sitting. I'm sitting in a room. Wow. Interesting. Who are you? Where you came from? When you came from? Where you were before you came here? Where we're going when we? I'm gonna open our the locks of our. Uh, Hearts, not our minds, our hearts. I say, heaven, holy uh, hadith Qudsi, heavens and earth can't contain me, but the heart of the believer contains me. Kalbu Mufni Baitul Rab. Where is Kaaba Sharif? Make Tawaf. Where is that Kaaba? Where is the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. I